Hi, how are you doing? Hello. Welcome back to our channel for this week. <laughs> we have, uh, yet again, another collaboration. Um, we're going to be doing the absolute classic um, booktube, I guess, collaboration video, you know? Yes, yes. Um, guessing the first line of famous classic books. We already did one on Carolyn's channel, so definitely check that out because we are also in a competition. We are. And <laughs> the, uh, the prize is a book, one novel. Um, kind of a virtue thing, I suppose. We have to buy each other yes, a novel, yes. depending on who wins or mm -hmm. who loses. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Carolyn has selected... Uh, 15? 15. 15 first lines. And Emma is going to have to guess what book they are from and what makes it a good or bad or moderate first line. Mm -hmm. And if, I rec if we recommend it. Yeah, if we recommend yeah. a book. What do I have to be? Nine, yes, five, no, but and also one didn't count, remember. Okay, you have so to be I have nine. to be nine. I have to nine be nine answers. right answers. Yeah. When I was looking at these, mm -hmm. I really thought that they weren't that hard, but maybe because I knew the book that it was coming from. Also, when anyone asks me a question, I just blank. Blank. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm ready. Okay, chapter one. Once a... <laughs> because it sort of makes sense. I feel like it should be the, but okay, sorry. Once a term, the whole school went for a walk. That is to say, the three masters took part, as well as all the boys. Maurice. <gasps> My what? Master. That was so good! You remember that? You, you remember that? Mm hmm Oh my god! Wow! Because I remember he's like going and talking to his teacher on the walk or whatever about I'm stuff. I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. Okay, see, she's gonna beat me. I okay. do- I don't like that first line though. Yeah. I really don't like it. It doesn't give me anything. It mm -hmm. doesn't make me want to keep reading. It's not iconic. Yeah. It's just kind of like, okay, we're here. Yeah. I'm going to start the yeah. story. I agree. I agree. But like, Maurice is more like his own. He's not trying to make it like, you know, it's like Profound. his own. It's his own book. Yeah. That like yeah. wasn't even published in his life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was posthumously published. Um, and Maurice is like, Maurice is your jam. A Room Maurice with a View is, is my jam. So. Yes. Well, I was going to do A Room with a View, but the oh, it has first one is. Yes. It. Mm -hmm. Whoa. This Ooh. one is super obvious. Okay. Should I skip it and go to a different one? Oh, she's playing games. She's playing games with me. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. In the Great Gatsby. Indeed. My oh, Gatsby. okay. See, that's what I feel like. I'm like, are, th are these too easy? I don't know. Did Another you pick some hard yes. ones? I tried. Okay. It was five o'clock on a winter's morning in Syria. Do you want me to keep going? Five o'clock on a winter's morning in Syria? Have I read this? I think so. You had it on your shelves and it looked very well thumbed. Oh god. No, keep going. Okay. Alongside the platform at Aleppo stood the train grandly designated in railway guides as the Taurus Express. Think trains. <laughs> think upward curled mustache. <laughs> Oh, is it Murder on the Orient Express? Yes. Dang. Does she get it? Does no. She get it? no. No, I don't get that. You have read it, right? I read it okay. in like high school. Ah. So I didn't know. Okay. Also, I didn't like it very much. Really? Have you read it? I read it and I was disappointed Me by too. the surprise. I'm Me like, too. what? Yeah. It's cool reading it until you get to a certain point. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh. The right. next one is... I remember how, that night, I lay awake in the wagon lit in a tender, delicious ecstasy of excitement, my burning cheek pressed against the impeccable linen of the pillow, and the pounding of my heart mimicking that of the great piston ceaselessly uh, thrusting the train that bore me through the night, away from Paris, away from girlhood, away from the white, enclosed quietude of my mother's apartment, into the guess unguessable country of marriage. A lot of trains. Yes. Okay, this one is iconic. This one is gorgeous. Right. Do I know where it's from? Who the hell gets on a train because she's getting married? <gasps> the Bloody Chamber? <gasps> yes! Yeah. Such a good one. Such a good one. Impressive. I literally want to read it so badly now. 
I'm hoping to read it. Especially because like you're like, yeah, I want to read it for a 24 hour read. Um, and that, that is so beautiful. I, yeah. That was literally the first time I ever read it. I'm like, well, when I picked it up. I know. It's like, that's so gorgeous. Wow. And the whole thing is like even, the whole thing is yeah. even better than that. Yeah. It's just like consistently too good. Mm. That is insane. Oh my god. I would highly recommend The Light Chamber. Beyond the Indian hamlet upon a forlorn strand, I happened on a trail of recent footprints. I do know this one. Can you read it again? Mm -hmm. Beyond the Indian hamlet, upon a forlorn strand, I happened on a trail of recent footprints. And you did all classics, right? I would consider this like a more modern classic. Okay, because it sounds to me like Cloud Atlas. It is? It is Cloud Atlas. Okay, because I was like, wait, these are all classics. Yeah. And I was like, Would Cloud you Atlas. consider Cloud Atlas a modern classic? Yeah, I would consider it a modern masterpiece. <laughs> Oh, and the footprints, the footprints thing is very significant. So mm -hmm. like, that's a very good start for the book, honestly. There's a name that might give it away, so Just I like might not say the name. Okay. okay. On the 12th of August, 18 blank, it doesn't say the year, the third day after my 10th birthday, when I had received such wonderful presents, blank woke me up at 7 o'clock in the morning by slapping at a fly directly above my head with a flapper made of sugar paper and fastened to a stick. It's childhood boyhood youth by Dulcet. What the hell? How do you? Because it's Carly Vonich. Yes, but oh my god, I am very <laughs> impressed. Okay, do not watch my video because <laughs> I five to one, like, ladies and gentlemen. Slapping bugs and they're like falling on his head. Yeah. Yeah. I hate. Wow. <laughs> I hate that opening. Wow. I don't like it. Do you like it? I feel like it. It puts us right into the action, and I do like how okay. it's introducing us. Plus, like, he's like. He's waking up. Yeah. And it's like the start of his childhood. Yeah. And he's like, what is this noise? Yeah. And it's like... Like you're waking up with him in that world. True. And maybe it's like foreshadowing all the death. Mm, mm. You know, the bugs are getting smacked. Yes. His mother's getting smacked. <gasps> That's a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> when he was nearly 13, my brother Blank got his arm yeah. badly broken at the elbow. It's to kill a mockingbird. <laughs> you are too good. Oh my god. I'm buying you a book. I also haven't read To Kill a Mockingbird since high school, so. That's why I was like, w will she remember this line? True. And also my whole life I thought it was called How to Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> and then when I was in the bookstore trying to get it for high school, I was like, do you have How to Kill a Mockingbird? And they were like, you mean To Kill a Mockingbird? To Kill a Mockingbird? Yeah. Drop the how? Yeah. That's so an funny. instruction manual. It is very seldom that mere ordinary people like Blank and myself secure ancestral halls for the summer. <gasps> I know this one. The ancestral halls for the summer. Oh my god. Can we do it again? Secure ancestral halls for the summer. Ancestral halls or homes? Halls. Halls. Oh, this is gonna kill me. I don't know. Yes. Um, can you keep going at all? A colonial mansion. A hereditary estate, I would say a haunted house, and reach the height of romantic felicity, but that would be asking too much of fate. Oh, I feel like I just read this. I don't know if you just read it. I know, like it's on the tongue. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, oh, is it the yellow wallpaper? Yes! I did just read that for my American you did? Lit course. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Because I was like, I literally have just read this sentence somewhere. It's her husband, right? John. John. Well, is it her husband? Is it her husband? Is it or isn't it? Is it or isn't it? I think that's that's an amazing... Uh, mm -hmm. The first sentence alone, but the second sentence? Mm. The introduction of the haunted house, potentially. Mm -hmm. the, yellow, the yellow wallpaper is one of my like favorite, favorite stories. I studied it first at university mm -hmm. and then I reread it and it was just... It's so good. So good. I first met Blank not long after my wife and I split up. <gasps> I first met Blank not long after my wife and I split up. First met Blank not long after my wife and I split up. On the road? Yes! By Jack Kerouac. What the hell, Emma? Oh my god. <laughs> I read it at a really I read it too early, I think, in my mm. reading career. Okay. Um, and it just, I was so bored the whole entire time. Okay. But I, have you read it? No. Oh my god. It's about this man, and he first met Dean mm -hmm. on the road. He's on the road, and it's just like his travels and stuff. But I think if I read it now, it's so much better. Really? Also, I don't okay. like that first line. Yeah. I mean, we have like 
we're starting off, I guess, with the conflict of like him and his wife splitting up. Like, mm-hmm. I'm curious, like, I why like did I've you guys split so up? I've so many first lines like that, though. Mm. Like, I met blah 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 after blah blah blah. Yeah. And I'm like, mm. the studio was filled with the rich odor of roses, and when the light summer wind stirred amongst the trees of the garden, there came through the open door the heavy scent of the lilac or the more delicate perfume of the pink flowering thorn. Okay. First thought is a picture of Dorian Gray. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Emma! Oh, thank God. Emma! You beat me. You you already beat me. I got a lot of book lads. That's beautiful. Right? The whole book. I'm going to reread it. Amazing. That's a 10 out of 10 first line. Yeah. You need one more to beat me. Okay. okay. I remember the whole beginning as a succession of flights and drops, a little seesaw of the right throbs and the wrong. I remember the whole thing. I remember the whole beginning, whole beginning. as a succession of flights and, and drops. drops. A little seesaw of the right throbs and the wrong. I've read this? Yes. Okay, so it's set in first person. The right throbs and the wrong? The posthumous memoirs? No, I don't know. The turn of the screw. <laughs> Henry James. I'm Henry so James. Sorry. Man. His writing is so peculiar in it The Turn is. of the Screw. It is. How do you feel okay. about that one? Mm, not really doing. I like. I want. It. It doesn't give me much. Like I like mm. the. I like the last part of it. Found myself doubtful again. Felt indeed sure I had made a mistake. So it's like okay, made a mistake about what? Like I'm intrigued. You know, you're hooking me, and I wanna. I wanna find out more. But yeah. the the first line, of the flights and drops and throbs and wrong. I'm kind of like. Yeah, there's a lot of like movement already in Turn of the Screw. Like there's so many mo- like movement mm-hmm. that's not actually movement. One night I had roamed into the city and was walking slowly on in my usual way, musing upon a great many things, when I was arrested by an inquiry. The pur- the purport- the pur- purport of which did not reach me, but which seemed to be addressed to myself, and was preferred in a soft sweet voice that struck me very pleasantly. I can reread Okay, that's a long sentence. I can sentence. reread that. It's giving Dickens? It is giving Dickens. Is it Dickens? It is Dickens. Okay, can you read it again? <laughs> One night I had roamed into the city and was walking slowly on in my usual way, musing upon a great many things, when I was arrested by an inquiry. Okay, so we have a character who's starting off the book in first person. I don't think it's the Pickwick Papers. No. Um, and he's walking slowly through the city in his usual manner. So he walks in the city often. <laughs> the t- detective. Detective of on the case. And someone calls him. And it sounds like it's a lady who calls him. It's not Great Expectations. No. It is... How does Great Expectations start? <laughs> my father's name being oh. Europe. And my- <laughs> it's... I don't think it's a Christmas Carol. Because Scrooge, that's not giving me Scrooge. That's, yeah, that's um, not giving me Scrooge. I don't think it's all over Twist. Okay, I'm gonna give you my final answer. Don't tell me anything else. Is it the old curiosity shop? It is. Nice. While I was still in Amsterdam, I dreamed about my mother for the first time in years. Oh, um, the goldfinch? Mm Mm-hmm. Mm. Ugh, the goldfinch. Don't recommend. Don't. Do (laughs) not recommend. A squat gray building of only 34 stories. Brave New World by all this. Oh, good! You know, I've never read Brave New World. (sighs) We had an option in high school to read Fahrenheit 451 or 1984 or Brave New World and I've only read I picked 1984 mm. and then I also read Fahrenheit 451 after school mm. but like my first one of my first serious like English lectures at university mm-hmm. um, for like first year the one that we had was literally the whole class was about that first sentence oh really it was just the first sentence like oh, analyzing wow. the first sentence the whole class oh my God. Um, so okay. it's like in my in your brain, in my brain forever. Plus, it's it's really good because like it's a squat gray building of only um, thirty three. You said of only thirty four stories. Yeah. So like, what the hell else is around? Yeah. Everything else is like that much bigger and that much grander. Mm-hmm. Can you can you can close, close your, your eyes? eyes and plug your ears? Close your eyes and plug your ears. I need to. I need to get the book. What do you mean? Oh, I plug my ears. Am yes. I gonna hear what yeah, book it is? Yeah, you might hear the section or something. I can I can echolocate it's my fun. own books yes, by which shelf. Yes, you can. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go around the counter. 
One, two, three, four, five, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. Okay. 51, 52. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, are you ready? I'm ready, the last one. Great. Greatest first sentence in all of oh, history. Oh, jeez, okay. okay. Then there was the bad weather. <laughs> Do you know it? Yeah, it's a movable face. Yeah. <laughs> my way. Then there was the bad weather. Yeah, that's pretty freaking good. Right? Yeah. It's just like, and it's having right, it's like, he's telling you how it is. I know, it's just like a smack in my face. I'm like, what yeah. do you mean then there was the bad weather? Yeah. What do you mean then? Yeah. You're starting the story, you've already started the story, and mm -hmm. I'm now struggling to catch up with you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. He's two steps ahead. And it's my first Hemingway. Yay! And you bought it. At, I did. Um, Here it is. Oh my god. Like Emma I'm, is almost done with it. Can you believe done. that? Okay. I'm, I'm a big Hemingway fan, and I have wanted Emma to read Hemingway for so long and now she is and she's loving it and I'm so excited. It's so funny whenever I recommend you a book mm. I always feel like you're gonna hate it and so when you don't like A Room with a View, mm. A Movable Feast, I'm like oh my god she's loving it. 12 yeses. 9 yeses and 5 no's. That's still pretty good. 9 to 5. I'm working 9, nine to, to 5. Five. I'm buying you a book. That's okay. I wanted to buy you the book anyway. I'll be, I'll be getting a book anyway. Which one are you gonna choose? You get to choose. Ooh. Oh, did I even tell them? Well, we need to, whichever one I can get. We have, right, you know, right. The options are Never Let Me Go, like How's It Wish a Girl, uh, A Room with a View, The Heart of the Dog, yes. or Eugene yeah. Wonjin. <laughs> so many people are gonna be so upset. <laughs> Evgeny Onegin. Okay, bye. Yes. <laughs> um, Pushkin? Yes, Pushkin. Well, well we need to go back to, store. yeah, we need to go back to a bookstore. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Let us know if you, I guess if you played along, you could have played in real yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. What your score was. Mm -hmm. We can't buy you a book, but. No, but um, you can buy yourself a book. You can that's buy always, your darn self a book. Yeah, any excuse is a good excuse. Exactly. This is, um, this is your excuse. This is your excuse. This is your excuse. Go buy a book. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Oh, my God, my oh, pleasure. My pleasure. Um, thank you for having me. You're so welcome. I guess we will see you when we see you. Yes. We'll probably see you again. Yes. At some point. Yes. So until then. Mm-hmm. Ciao. Ciao.